Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're showing guys how to build a super simple disco beacon light because thanks to title update 25, we now have stained glass. So if I flip down this lever right here, we're going to get an awesome array of colors blaring through the sky. So flip down the lever and as you can see, our disco beacon activates and we're getting five different colors stringing through the skies, but we actually get six because yellow and blue make green. So you'll see a little bit of a green color flipping through there as well. So let's go ahead and look at the redstone behind this, guys. It is so easy to build. I'm sure some of you, by me just flying past it like this, could easily build it without watching the video. But let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial, guys, because it is extremely easy to build. Also, you can get into the beacon as well. Just giving a little heads up there. All right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need a 5x5 five five spacing. The resources we are going to need for this build are 6 sticky pistons, 6 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 15 redstone dust, one lever, one beacon. We are also going to need at least nine blocks of iron. You can use emeralds and diamonds too, but I highly recommend just using iron. Also, if you want to make the base a lot bigger so your beacon has a bigger range, you can go ahead and do that as well. We are also going to need two stone slabs, one furnace. We're going to need at least five different colored stained glasses. I'm going to be using blue, purple, orange, pink, and yellow. You can use whatever five colors you want. And we're also going to need at least one piece of glass. And we're also going to need some blocks to put our redstone down on and some blocks of choice. So once you've gotten your five by five spacing, what I want you to do is come right to the front of it. So right here is going to be your wall. Right here is going to be where your wall is. So what I want you to do is take out your iron and make a nice little three by three spacing of iron for your beacon. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that for our beacon. And then right in the middle, we're going to go ahead and place on our beacon. It should activate thanks to our iron right there. Next, what I want you to do is right off to the right hand side, we're going to go ahead and chuck down a block of choice. We no longer need our beacon and iron. So let's go ahead and take a few other things out instead. Then right off of our block of choice right here, we're going to go ahead and put our lever. And then off the back of this block, I want you to take out your sticky pistons and put a sticky piston facing towards the back like that with a block in front of it. Next, what I want you to do is flip down this lever so your sticky piston activates. And then we're going to put our furnace right here next to this block. Then I want you to go inside of your furnace and put in one item. I'm going to go ahead and put one piece of redstone dust because I grabbed an extra piece of redstone dust just for this part. Next, coming out of this block, what I want you to do is put a comparator going this way like so. And then make sure you put it into subtraction mode. So the only way to know if it's in subtraction mode or not is right there. See that little front little knot right there? We're going to click it. And as you can see, it activates like that. We want it to be all activated like so. However, we're going to turn it off just for now. So just flip up your lever. However, the front part should still look like it's activating. Then coming out of your comparator, we're going to go ahead and put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay with a block in front of it. Next, what I want you to do is take out some redstone dust and wrap it around towards your comparator so it looks something like that. Now, what that's going to do is create an infinite clock going around and around and around for our beacon. So if I flip down this lever right here, as you can see, we'll have an infinite clock motion going around and around. Once you know your clock is working, come over here and just flip up your lever and turn everything off. And now we're going to go ahead and add in our sticky pistons for our stained glass. So right off to this right hand side of your beacon, just come out two blocks, one, two, and then we're going to come up six blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then right down here on the second block, we're going to put a sticky piston facing towards the beacon like that. Then we're going to skip a block and do it again and then skip a block again and do it one more time like that. So we should have three sticky pistons going up. Then what I want you to do is make sure to delete these blocks in between your sticky pistons. Make sure you delete them. Then on this side, we're going to come up at least two blocks, one, two, and then start from here. We're going to put a sticky piston facing this way like this. As you can see, it's making a zigzag. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. The next, there's going to be another one right here. So we'll go up one more block and put another sticky piston like that. And then make sure to delete these blocks in between your sticky pistons. So it looks something like this. So once you've gotten your sticky pistons put in, we're going to go ahead and put in our stained glass. So I'm going to be using blue, purple, orange, pink, and yellow. You can use whatever colors you like. So I'm going to go ahead and go blue, purple, orange, pink, and then yellow up here. After you've gotten your stained glass put in, take out your blocks of choice. You will be able to see these blocks and then come right back here. We're just going to fill up these three rows all the way to the top piece of stained glass back here, just so you don't have to see any of that redstone. So as you see right here in the front, now we can't see any of the redstone back there. Now we can go ahead and come back here and start doing some actual redstone. So off this block, what I want you to do is put a piece of redstone dust. And then of course we're going to need our blocks of choice. And then we're going to put a block up 
right next to this first sticky piston with redstone dust on top of it so that will activate our first sticky piston so if i flip this down as you can see it'll go in out in out like that beautiful now we're going to hook up our second sticky piston so to do that we're going to come up with a block right here above this four tick delay repeater come out one more block put a piece of redstone dust here then coming out of this redstone dust put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay put a block up in front of it then we're going to put a block right on top of this furnace with a piece of redstone dust on top of that and then a block next to the redstone dust that will activate our second sticky piston so if we flip this down one two beautiful one two beautiful that's what we want like that now we're going to hook up our next sticky piston so coming back over here we're going to go ahead and put a piece of redstone dust up here then we're going to put a block right here to cut this current off and then we're going to wrap blocks going all the way around to this sticky piston right over here next one you do is coming off this redstone dust bring down three pieces towards the right one two three then we're going to put a repeater going towards our sticky piston on two ticks delay make sure it's on two ticks and that will be our one two three sticky piston so flip it down and one two three beautiful one two three one two three that's what we want so let's flip this up and now we're going to do our next sticky piston which is very easy we're going to come right back over here and just put a block right next to our sticky piston like that bring redstone dust up here like so and then put a repeater going into this one on four ticks delay so now if we flip it down that should be all four of them one two three four one two three four there we go and now we just have one more sticky piston to go so we're going to come right back here one more time and then right above this little notch we're going to go ahead and put a slab upside down put another slab upside down right here and then wrap blocks going all the way around to this sticky piston next put redstone dust on top of both your slabs put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay a block in front of it and then a repeater going into this sticky piston on two ticks delay and that should be the entire thing done so if we flip down the lever one two three four five one two three four five and it will just keep going guys making a awesome disco pattern up in the sky now that we know everything is working all we have to do is clean it up and make sure everything looks good so to clean it up all we have to do is just put blocks in between all our stained clay remember do not put blocks in between your sticky pistons or it will ruin it guys so just put blocks in between your stained clay like that and then we're going to bring up another row right here all the way to the top another row all the way to the top and then we're going to cap it off like this put a little cap over it next what you do is take out that one piece of glass i told you the one piece of glass and put it right here once you've gotten this piece of glass in what i usually like using here is white stained glass now i didn't say this in the beginning because you don't have to put anything here if you really don't want to but I like to just fill it up with white stained glass because honestly, I think this is probably the best looking glass. It looks better than even the normal glass. See, the normal glass looks a little choppy. This one actually looks pretty good. This one looks like a piece of regular glass. So we can still go into our beacon and change it to whatever we want. However, now we can have an awesome disco light for our beacon as well. So you are completely done, guys. So there you guys have it. That's how you build my super simple disco beacon. All we have to do now is just fill in these two sides so we don't have to see any of the pistons. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to leave it a like. And subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. Alright guys, peace!